Hello there Achievable Searchers, it's Ginger Link here again with his weird ass British accent to take you through the first of the runner achievements, on Prince of Persia. For this first one, Ruined Citadel Runner, you must make it from the Sun Temple, in the Ruined Citadel, to the Windmills, also in the Ruined Citadel. Hence why it's called the Ruined Citadel Runner, because you're running through the Ruined Citadel. Oh, yeah, you've got five minutes to do it in. As far as I can tell, the time starts when you leave the little circle, which is the fertile ground, so you don't have to rush off in a hurry like I just did but it does always help to create a sense of urgency, make it feel like you're going fast. Okay, hit these two plates and head straight off to the left when you land. There are two routes, either way around this canyon, and this is the faster one, which you'll need for this particular achievement. For this first bit, just keep pushing forwards and jump as soon as possible. I wouldn't advise trying this achievement if you still take three attempts at every war run. I reckon maybe there to save your sorry ass every time, but it's just going to be too slow. Your run, I mean, not your ass. Although that works too, slow ass. Okay, don't do the stupid thing and jump straight off from this one. Climb at the top and climb along the ceiling, because that makes sense. If there's only one ring, then it's short enough to make the long jump. Of course, here there's two, so it's either climbing along the ceiling or having a very repetitive death. Of course, here I don't quite take my own advice, although a jump to the side here is quite risky, because there's not much beam to grab onto. Go easy on the A button here too. Make sure you're facing the right way before jumping off. For me, the prince has a habit of spinning around a pole before jumping off and then falling into another chasm. No need to slide down here, easy jump and swing. Just keep running along here. Swing, ball run and jump as late as possible, as per usual. And again here, keep going around the canyon. Don't turn right here. Keep heading along here. Ignore the plate as well, even if it is making funny faces at you. At you. That's odd. That looks like another fertile ground. That was never in the game. Oh. Hit the war run, swing, war run again. Make sure you remember to press B for these rings. It makes such a dissatisfying thunk if you mess those up. Like the incessant twang of hitting the wrong notes on Guitar Hero. Of course, this is Prince of Persia, so I have no idea why I made that analogy. Keep going, these rings on the ends of the wall can be quite tricky to see at times, but they're there. Now up here, hit the ring. More warning. Always hit the rings. Don't overshoot that platform. Make sure you're angled enough against the wall here, which I almost failed to do. Now just swing on this pole, and you're in the right area. However, you've still got to get to the top of the old tower. I don't entirely get the point of these red plates in the game. I mean, they're a really fancy way of getting around, but that's about it. Also, what's the difference between these red ones and the blue ones? They just do exactly the same thing, and they're like, no effort at all. Yeah, guess it doesn't matter. Uh, the boost jump here isn't really necessary, it will try to scare you. Also, be careful with the A button, as I teach you a lesson in how not to take your own advice. More pads to, pads to fly about on. Hit the thing. Why, why, why? That's the button I'm pressing, by the way. Wall run and miss the first bar if you're really feeling, feeling like being fancy. Uh, if you jump early, you will save a bit of time. And now I just jump into the middle of the room for no reason at all. There you go, that's me needing to be saved. My best advice would be not to do that. I definitely didn't do it multiple times. Make sure with this swivelly thing it's pointing the right way so you can wall run it. Swing around Elica and then climb up this when it's swiveled around. Hit these plates again. That is not a plate. That is a piece of wire grating next to the plate. Oh, and I'd advise healing both of the lands before attempting this. Despite the fact it probably won't even give you the achievement, the puzzle solving and the hunter bashing may slow you down a bit. And here. Um, I've jumped a bit low there, and Elka helps me jump even further into oblivion. Okay, make the wall run right. Um, jump off the end here, you'll save a couple of seconds, and needless worry. Keep climbing up the round, make the wall run to your left, which I almost ignore, and it also helps to run straight up as opposed to sort of sideways. Climb up to the top, jump, ready to pounce, just for a dramatic effect. Got to climb up the other side. 
Almost there. Jump. And there you go. Achievement for 10 gamer score. And Elka lands on my head. No, we shall not move on. This is the end of the video. Uh, and for technicality's sake, that took 4 minutes and 40 seconds. So 20 to spare. Goodbye, everybody.